Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Galewing, and this game is, well, we're gonna call this one the epitome of what this meta is becoming. The game is changing. The game is now fast. Four stars are viable, five stars are viable, leveling straight to the moon, not nearly as viable as it's been in the past. And a lot of these mid to late game boards are looking a lot more like what would have gotten you a third or a fourth place back in quest meta. But because there are so many people pushing really quick tempo really quickly in the game, just like stomping you with big stats, it's making it so that leveling and getting really good scaling boards just doesn't really happen. And you get these pieced together compositions, some level of a little bit of attack scaling, getting some divine shields, whatever it might be, that all slam into each other in the mid game. And then suddenly nobody's left alive. Turn 13, turn 14 being into the game is absolutely the norm right now. So we have to adjust accordingly. Because in this, even just this one stream, we played three games that were all first places that look almost exactly like this. Slam tempo from the mid game, look for a way to level up on one turn, and then just dump on people every turn afterwards. All right, enjoy. Okay. We're going to go for the we're rich line? Yeah, why not? Screw it. We'll just get extra minion. We'll get the Risen Rider and the Icky Imp. And like, oh, let's just go for it. Made you switch from your day job to streaming. Career swap. And the opportunity to take a little bit of time while I was a contractor and independent without completely botching my career. If I knew I was going to have a a major amount of downtime and it was already going to be something pretty negative, it wasn't hard to take a little bit, take that a little bit further and take the shot at streaming. Thanks, I hate it. This is so awkward. Now you might not die. And then I don't get my procs. Is so good though, curve wise. Yeah, to elaborate a little further on that, I basically was in between two places. Number one, where I was in R and D in my my effective career. Basically, was there for twelve years, in and out of corporate and academic and government research. And I was making a change in my life. Like I wasn't gonna stick with that for too long. Moved away from it. Just not the things that I really want to do in long term. It was what I was interested in getting out of school and whatnot. Engineering work in general. And then by the time that I was out of that and I'm looking for, for other stuff, I, I was jumping into to teaching and other such, such work. Getting those certifications took a lot of time. I was working part-time at the time and that was the perfect time to take a shot at the Stremen. Because there's no real downside. And if it hadn't taken off after like six months, I was just going to, you know, give it up and be full time into it. And, uh, was pleasantly surprised with reception that people like, for some reason, to hang out and waste their time with me. <laughs> that you guys like to, to hang out and chill. But yeah, if this, you know, if streaming doesn't work out in the long term, it's no harm done. It's just a couple years that I did something that was independent work. That it's time that I've been self-employed for, for doing contract work. I'll have that on the resume, but also like this kind of stuff too. Ain't hard to find teaching work in Ohio, I'll tell you what. At least we're unionized for teachers. Go out, if you want to laugh, go out to, uh, <laughs> go out to, I don't know exactly which website it is off the top of my head, but look at open postings for science teachers at a high school level in the state of Ohio. <laughs> It's, it might as well just be a giant, giant red mark over the entire state. Like, there's just so many freaking openings. It will not take but a, 
applying effectively to get in if I really wanted to do that. There are one or two open vacancies in the sciences and math. Probably because teaching sucks. That's what I like. The field of cornology is wide open. I don't think they really teach corn in high school, but you know, maybe in music theory. Oh yes, today we're studying corn. Does it even pay anything? Not bad. Not good. But to me, that's not, that's not the, the major concern. I live in fucking rural Ohio, man. I can live on 30k a year. Perfectly happy. It's a question of, is this what you want to do with your life more than anything? I'm going to be a teacher? Hell yeah, dude. We just put two pair on the board. Hope that we find the triple. Yeah, I don't tell people where I live. No harm in asking the question. You can understand why I wouldn't wouldn't answer that one. I work in education and find it very rewarding. Same. Or at least I have. At a college level. That I spent... Seven years? I should know this number, because I have to put this on resumes. Seven years, start with just, you know, TA stuff and graduate assistant work, and then lecturing classes. It was very, very, very rewarding. Hence the reason that I kind of switched out of the, the research side of things, and more toward that. Work in education. Oh, I already read that. Swap careers like four times in the last one and a half years, and thinking going back to science again. Yeah, the world's a weird place. The world's a big place. You never really know what the future brings. Fuck if I know what I didn't expect to be doing this at this point in my life. And who knows what I'll be doing tomorrow. We're rich. So much gold. Wait, how many more is it for the next proc? Holy cow, that's a lot of procs. He's up to five. Over in lecture, remember class, leapers. That'll be on tomorrow's exam. Hell yeah. L-E-A-P-E-R-S, leapers. All right, stat-wise, we're probably not catching up in this game. So we really just need to make use of the gold to either level, take a six, or get like a noob quickly. Did you start out streaming Hearthstone? I've only ever streamed Hearthstone. So I don't think stats make a lot of sense here. We either find triples or we find RFX to be strong. Uh, yeah, these are terrible. Just another pair. Just like, fuck it, let's just buy another one. Gross. Gross, 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 gross. Oh well. It's a lot of power in the form of the second death swimmer. I think I'd rather just hold the gold and the pair to be able to level next turn, use this on Tavern 5, and have three options for triples. I think you said you do an AI and machine learning contract or tracting. Have you worked with data engineers in the past? Uh, not especially. I don't know how well this comes across in terms of in terms of discussion, because I I, I am very vague with what I do kind of the nature of spending time on a lot of government contracts. You don't tend to want to go too deep into it. But I work at a hardware level, like physically creating chips on silicon, creating memory devices and such. So like the people that I work with are people that are taking models from that type of stuff at the highest of level. I'm not working with with network engineers, data engineers, like anybody that's on the, the level that's like outside of immediately adjacent to hardware very often outside of maybe like one person on a team. So it's really just like, we're talking about like fabrication facility, like inside of fabs 
type of work. All right, well. Good luck. Wear triples. Wear triples. Put that on the board for a turn. Could be a two star. What exactly was your board, Mr. Cat? Well, we gonna lose this round real hard. We can discover a five and have 10 extra gold to go to six. No way, right? We won't have to get lucky at some point. Colossus? This is probably early enough for Death Whisper. these things to scale. I don't want to lead with them. So we got a lease for a triple next turn or six star next turn. We got a noob here and we discover a five. Actually kind of a decent setup for an undead board. Crazy. We don't tend to play too much undead right now, but it's the right turn to take Death Whisper. It's our direction. We talk about all the time how this is just not good direction for undead. It's just not first place direction. And considering where we were before that turn, now where we are, I'm okay with it. I'm gonna be uh, played to double sell and sell the one you had in hand to buy the dragon and hope for the triple from the last opponent. Mm, meh. Your argument there is that it's a one in five for one gold, which is okay, but we have a lot of gold. Titus, a noob. I like it. Yes. Yes, please. Uh-huh. Cute on the handless. I would like to take the handless, but I also kind of want to get out of the Elise. I guess we could just take the triple next turn. so awkward because I have to keep the Elise on the board, right? That's some strimmer luck right there. Indeed. <laughs> Look at this shit. Like that's going to be down. That's going to be down. That's going to be down. And most likely we should just get out of Elise at this point and play this card on the board too. Like then we have to sell something off the board. To take the golden monkey discover. It sucks. I hate it. Nice. Didn't overcommit, thankfully. He's where we were two turns ago. Sitting on his pairs going, what the fuck am I supposed to do this game? I know the feeling, dude. It's relatable. Very relatable board state. No skill in there. Low damage. Did you work on UFOs on a military shooting down? Can't say, bro. Can't say. You think if the answer was yes, I'd be allowed to say it? Seems doubtful. You just roll five times, take two discovers. It's probably the play. Horse is decent, too. Trash. Trash. Error number two. Trash. Greta Uther Mechadraxus. Pidoki. Eternal Summoner and Colossus of the Sun. Ooh, spicy. Both very good. 
So Colossus is better immediate tempo. Also the upside of... of being a pair on the board. And also, both of these guys have Reborn, so they don't really set us back if we can find the Reborn for a new Barak. That's still the best card we can find. Summoner's decent because we have the Baron. So we can start rolling into Eternal Knight scaling. It's also just a big minion. It's a Reborn as well, etc, etc, etc. Like, if we're keeping Death Whisper and playing into it, it's probably Colossus, but I don't think that's really our play, per se. Oh dear lord. A noobs. It's a noobs. More a noobs. More noobs for the fire. You love to see it. Aura scaling, let's go. What are your favorite TV shows? Interesting. I have not read most of the comments that came in the last two minutes. I'm sure you guys can tell when I get focused on the game. It's not that I'm ignoring you for the sake of like, I don't think... I don't want to answer any more of your questions, but rather focused on the game. Favorite TV shows? Um, the earliest show that I can remember watching that I thought was absolutely awesome. So, like chronologically, would be Mash. Mash is up there, and then probably like. Dexter and The Wire and The Sopranos in the time period of like early HBO. I grew up with Scrubs. Scrubs was all the time. All the time when I was a kid. I love Scrubs. Scrubs is Bofers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quote it way too much for people not to know that one. All right, maybe we can get to this triple. Possibly we can get to this triple. It's, it will be close. It's kind of a rough call to think if we can get to that one or not. People ask that, that question a lot with like, which show's better? You know, The Sopranos, The Walking Dead, The Wire, whatever. Easy Wire. Oz? Oz was fantastic. Oz was a show I wasn't allowed to watch as a kid. <laughs> but Oz is such a good show. Really liked Oz. I like pretty much everything FX put out in the in the 2000s. Whether that was like it's it's so dated at this point. Like you watch some of those FX shows, you know, from the early days of Always Sunny to like uh Rescue Me and Sons of Anarchy and all of those TV shows like ooh. Ooh, we don't say that anymore show. Ooh, that's some harsh language. Ooh. But, you know, you look past the, the time difference when it comes to that kind of stuff. But still really good shows. What do we do in the shadows? I've never seen it. I've seen the movie. I haven't seen the show. Movie was good. Monk was a show. <laughs> I had an aunt who really, really loved or still have the aunt. I really love Monk. Always, in, Always Sunny in Philadelphia is amazing. I love that show. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's on the list. OP shows. Oh yeah, that's, that's gonna do just fine actually. I'll just reborn that shit. You get those golden Athisas out of here. We're doing undead things today. I miss Psych. I never got in the Psych. Bless your parents. I watched Oz as a kid. It was not cool. <laughs> it was a bit much for a, for a child, I am sure. Or for even like a young teenager, that show is, is a little rough. Young adults. Have you seen The Mentalist? I have not. What else falls into a category? Hmm. Oh, I really, really like Bojack. Really like Bojack. Especially the later seasons of it. I uh, see, I see. I like the, uh, the Uther here to play into this. We are kind of married to this thing right now. It is very, very tough to get at the proc. You are so temporary at this point. You could even make an argument that it is gone already.
I think it's actually gone. And either we play six or we play early handless. I think it's just early handless. They fixed the Uther in the undeads. Oh, they did. I didn't even notice. It overwrites their base stats and then reapplies the aura. Yeah, it doesn't set it to a 15 for the first 15, 15 to the first turn and then like fix itself the next turn. It immediately does it. Very cool. All right, let me scroll back up. Bojack's underwater episode was nuts. There are a very good set of those Bojack episodes. I'm rewatching it right now. Yeah, it's weird to me because I'm not really an animated person, but I really, really, really like that show. I've never really been an anime kind of guy. I've never really been cartoons or or whatever. It's probably because I really like Allison Brie and her character is very good in the show. They obviously did a great job with Bojack and, you know, anti-hero style. And then it was Aaron Paul and who else is in Bojack actor list? Like the entire list is like, they're very, very, very talented voice actors. Not a cartoon guy, but plays leaves on the vine. <laughs> I have never seen Avatar. Yet I still play the song. I know the, I know the scene. I've lived on the internet for far too long not to know what it's referencing. I've never watched the show though. Burn Notice, White Collar, or the USA Network, and Psych. I've seen both Burn Notice and White Collar. I think White Collar would be the best of the three, personally. I've never really... I've watched, like, season one of Psych, and I gave up on it. And Burn Notice I thought was okay. But I thought White Collar was pretty good. For, like, a feels-good Middle America drama, it was pretty decent. Suits was also good. I like Suits. I've seen Suits up to, like, last two seasons or whatever. It is great background noise. If you're expecting revolutionary plot, you're expecting it to really just do something that you weren't expecting, you're looking for the wrong show. But it is... It is still entertaining television. It is not... It doesn't step very far outside of its comfort zone, though. Fell off after Mike left? Greed. Oh no, spoilers! On a show... And something that happened 10 years ago or whatever at this point. I tried to watch Avatar, but I think I was too old. The show was just too young for me. Yeah, it's definitely hit or miss in places. For sure. We need open board spaces on this board and we're just never going to get them. You got to watch Avatar Lost Airbender. Maybe one day. Black Adder. I've never seen Black Adder. Rest Development Seasons 1, 2, 3. I like that you clarified the seasons, because when they brought it back, it was garbage. But the early seasons, fantastic. Watch uh, Avatar if you have kids with them. If you ever have kids. I'll read it that way. Bro! I even shielded my Baron, and it's like, nah, dead. No, no shields for you. Alright, GG. You remember when we weren't winning this game and then we leveled and we kept the gold and we won a round and then we were still 35 health and we just stomped the lobby. Remember how it's turn 13 and the game's over already? Welcome to tempo meta. Where you just hit one or two good tempo things and you just punt people from the lobby. One other person does it too. Like look at what the second place board looks like. It's just bullshit. Like playing with strong bullshit is a viable way to play the game right now.